हरे कृष्णा रेग्युलेशन इज द रोड वे टू रियलाइजेशन रेग्युलेशन मीन्स दैट वेन वी एंगेज इन एनी एक्टिविटीज देन वी डोंट डू वी डू इट इन अ मॉडरेट बैलेंस्ड वे एंड डोंट इंगडल्ज इन एक्सेसेस नॉर्मली रेग्युलेशन रेफर्स टू एस्पेशली थिंग्स विच वी वॉन्ट टू इंडल्ज इन things which we think because they are pleasurable so we want to do them in excess some people think of regulation as deprivation it's enjoyable why should i not do it it may enjoy more and more and more but uh, the problem with uh, regulation uh, with the lack of regulation there are many problems uh, sometimes this lack of regulation has uh, consequences of health it has consequences of finances so suppose a person drink or uh, a person overeats he doesn't eat in a regulated way overeats and what happens then the person becomes obese develops different kind of diseases and of course spends a huge amount of money also first in eating and then in treating so treating the body and in that way we get uh, we get into trouble so even from the material point of view get into trouble but regulation is more important because it also helps us to get towards realization so krishna talks about regulation in 6.8 in the bhagavad gita yukta ahara viharasya yukta cheshtasya karmasu yukta swapna va bodhasya yogo bhavati dukkha yukta he says in all the activities be regulated in eating in sleeping in recreation in work be regulated युक्ताहार विहार से एंड देन बाय दिस योगो भवति दुखा बाय द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ योगा यू विल बिकम फ्री फ्रॉम मिजरी नाउ एग्जैक्टली हाउ डज दिस हैपन सो कृष्णा इज नॉट सेइंग बीइंग युक्त बीइंग रेगुलेटेड विल लीड टू फ्रीडम फ्रॉम मिजरी ही सेइंग द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ योगा विल लीड टू फ्रीडम फ्रॉम मिजरी योगो भवति दुखा बट युक्त इज द फाउंडेशन दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दैट अदर इफ यू व्हेन इज नॉट रेगुलेटेड देन द प्रॉब्लम इज that we are always looking for some alternative pleasure at the material level and then that keeps our consciousness locked at the material level and it does you if we don't let yoga practice raise our consciousness to spiritual level what this means is put it in a simple way say for example with respect to eating if we decide that these are the times i'm going to eat this 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 and then uh, then there are certain food items which are available at that time there may be a particular menu or whatever and we may also play a part in deciding the menu it may be according to our like but we decide okay these are the foods that i'm going to eat and then at these times these foods whatever is uh, cooked and provided i'll eat that so now this regulation we are not it's not deprivation because we are getting food and to some extent the food may be according to our liking also according to choice also so there is some satisfaction in that but there is a regulation because we are not eating any time and every time that we feel hungry we are not eating whatever we feel like eating so then by this our mind stays free during the rest of the time once we have decided okay these are the times i am going to eat then other times our mind is free, uh, because we not kept that option for the mind to eat whenever it starts feeling hungry the mind stays open uh, uh, for doing other constructive activities otherwise the mind is always exploring maybe this maybe this maybe this maybe i can go there and eat that maybe i can go there and eat that once there is regulation then uh, once the mind accepts okay you are not going to get anything else to it so why why think about it why crave for it okay, craving will only cause uh, dissatisfaction so better not think about it only don't crave for it so like that regulation it brings some amount of uh, discipline on the mind uh, and then that mind becomes ready to concentrate on more constructive things so then what then we can uh, <laughs> we can do other work better if you're constantly thinking maybe i should just take a tea break maybe i should take a snack uh, maybe i should take some snacks maybe i should just take a drink whatever then the students if they're trying to study like this professionals are trying to work like this they're always distracted maybe they maybe this maybe that and then they're not able to study they're not able to work so even at uh, from the point of view of working in this life regulation helps us to regulation brings about concentration and then 
uh, so now this principle when we apply it to spiritual life if we have decided that okay these are the means of gratification these are the foods that I am going to eat, these are the time that I am going to eat the food then what happens by that? then we can concentrate the mind on higher spiritual pursuits we are not constantly looking when will I get um, get some material gratification when will I get material gratification when will I get material gratification we are not, we are not obsessed with that we are not preoccupied with that and then we can focus on higher spiritual truths and when we focus on higher spiritual truths then we get higher happiness otherwise we may be going through the rituals of bhakti but because we are not focusing on Krishna we don't get higher happiness and we don't get higher happiness we stay uh, we stay vulnerable to the temptations by the lower happiness and we get lower pleasures and then we are dragged down to those lower pleasures sooner or later and in that way we stay in illusion we stay entangled also, on the other hand if we are regulated then uh, regulation is the roadway to realize now roadway on the roadway we have to move along the roadway and what moves us on the roadway yoga yoga practice is the engine that moves us along the roadway but if there is no roadway then moving along becomes much more difficult so if there is no regulation then our yoga practice also becomes a, becomes much more difficult but when there is there's a roadway then we can move much faster so if there is regulation then we can move forward in the sense that uh, we there are opportunities for say uh, for material gratification at fixed times and apart from that we remaining times we are constructively engaged either in our work or in remembrance of Krishna but in our work actually we can remember Krishna by remembering that, we are doing, remembering that we are doing it for him so in this way we get realization firstly what we realize, we realize that spiritual happiness is actually fulfilling when I fix the mind on Krishna I really get a very deep happiness it's so wonderful it's so fulfilling it's so enriching it's so empowering and then when we have that realization then when we turn around and we think of the constant indulgences that we were doing in sense gratification we realize actually this was so slavish I was enslaved I was, I was constantly craving, constantly lamenting constantly uh, agitated I am free from it all so once we have regulation then we get higher realization realization of higher happiness and then we actually understand that the lower happiness is lower and that we understand that the lower happiness is actually not really worth pursuing it gives me more agitation than satisfaction and therefore I will not pursue it and then this realization reinforces our spiritual practice and in that way we move march onwards on our spiritual journey till we become free from material desires free from material miseries and we attain Krishna. Yoga Bhavati Dukkha. By the practice of yoga, our miseries end. Thank you. Hare Krishna.